Hello students, welcome to this exciting project, Create a Factor Tree Video. All right, number one, choose a three digit number that has many factors and do a rough draft of one factor tree for that number on a piece of paper. So I want you to take out a piece of paper, whether it's lined or not, it does not matter. And I'll show you my rough copy here. So I chose the number 300. As you can see, it is a three digit number and it has many factors. You see here, here it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine factor pairs. So I want you to answer this part of the question uh, the way that I've taught you how. First, we're gonna write all the factor pairs. Then you're gonna choose one factor pair to illustrate in your factor tree. I want you to complete the factor tree with your squares and circles, and then don't forget your prime factorization statement at the bottom here, okay? All right, so take out a piece of paper and then choose your three digit number and complete this step. So now would be a good time to press pause. You can keep this page open so you know what I'm looking for. When you've got your rough work done, then bring it up to show Mr. Ueda. Okay, so press pause now. Okay, let's move on to step two. Step two, we need to open the template. So this is where you get it. You go to computer, four students, out, Ueda, grade seven math, and the file you're looking for is called Factor Trees Create Your Own Tree Template and it is a Microsoft Publisher file. We have used Publisher before. This is what it looks like, okay? So this is the template here. You see all the pieces that you need here are on the side. Okay, so if you were successful in opening that template, let's go to step three. Step three, save the file immediately into your G drive or your student number. Okay, so this is um, easy to do. Let's go to File, Save As. Down the left-hand side, look for the word computer, click the triangle next to the word computer, and then click on your student no number. You can keep the file name the same, that's fine, and hit Save, okay? All right. Step four, fill in the number you are creating the factor tree for. Start dragging over appropriate shapes for your tree. Do not fill anything in yet. Okay, so let's see what that means. All right, so let's zoom in a bit. We can use the zoom window up here. And we'll zoom in. Okay. All right, so a couple things we can fill in. So this is a text box ready for you. So I want you to type in your name and class. And then here in the main box here, type in your number. Now my number, remember, was 300. Now I formatted um, these boxes so that the text will go in the middle, centered, and it should be bolded. Okay, so the next thing I want you to do is type in all of your factor pairs from your rough sheet. Now if you've got your rough sheet with you, it should be pretty easy, okay? So I want you to fill this in. I'm not gonna fill in all of them, but you get the idea. Okay, I've given you two lines here. So you should have enough space to write, or I mean type all of your factor pairs. Okay, so let me just write, uh, let me just type in the first couple here of mine. And I should also include the one that I'm actually going to illustrate here, 12 and 25. Okay, so remember, you've got your rough sheet that you're looking at, so you know what boxes come next. So now it's just a matter of dragging over the appropriate pieces and fitting it together like a puzzle. So if I need a composite number, I'm gonna bring over a rectangle and I'm gonna place it over top of that end of the line, okay? And then I need another composite uh, rectangle, so I'll bring that over over here. Try to keep them well spaced so that it kind of looks uniform, okay? Now, remember, I'm not filling anything in yet. So the next thing I need to do is I need to build some branches here. So I'm gonna put this on the edge. And then 
what we need to do is we need to push this behind uh, the, the rectangle, or I can simply bring the rectangle in front. So if I click on the rectangle and I go to Arrange up here, and then I go to Order, I can choose Bring to Front. Okay? All right, so now you know how to build all of the branches and then all of the parts. So you just have to be careful because there's not a lot of room here. So you may have to not center them and you may have to kind of squish them over. So this is what I mean. So if I put this way on the edge and then if I move this over and then I could just kind of do this. And that should give me enough room to make the next layer of branches, okay? So then I'm going to click on this rectangle, go up to Arrange, Order, Bring to Front, okay? So now would be a good time to kind of press pause as you take the time to build out your factor tree without filling anything in. So I'm also going to press pause while I continue to build the rest of my tree, okay? So let's press pause here now. Okay, so I'm back. So I've got my factor tree all mapped out, ready to go. Okay, so now is a good time to press save. Let's save your project. All right, so what's next? So now I'm on step five. Open Internet Explorer. Go to www.screencastomatic.com. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this up for a second. Now, it's very important that you use Internet Explorer and not Google Chrome. For some reason, there are some conflicts with Google Chrome and this piece of um, this website. So, this is the site that we need Screencast O Matic. Okay, now we don't need an account, we don't need to create an account. There are certain things that we can do for free. Okay, so let's click Start Recording. So what we want is, we want to use Recorder version 1.0. Okay, we're going to use the older one. The newer one is still in beta testing. So let's click Recorder version 1. And what's going to happen is, it's going to start uh, loading all of these plugins. So hopefully, that's not going to take too long. So I'm going to press pause while mine loads up. Okay, so you know things are going well when you have this pop-up window. So what happens is it has to load all of these Java plugins. This is the uh, symbol for Java. So when you get this, just click Run. And then you might have to do it twice. So I'm going to click Run again, and then you can see here that it's downloading. Okay? All right, so this is the screen that we want, okay? This is the capture screen. So when we create videos, what we want to do is we want to capture everything that's going on on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this, and you'll have to adjust it, but here are my suggestions. This control bar here, make sure it doesn't overlap with your task bar at the bottom. So what we want to do is we want to see what this looks like over our publisher. Okay, so this is my publisher file. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to only capture the area of my screen. Now, what I can do is I can zoom in a little bit. So... Uh, maybe I can just do this, and then I can use the zoom of Publisher, and I could zoom in a little bit like this if I want. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this captures the whole area that I want to be working on. Okay. Now it's your choice. You don't have to zoom in on Publisher this much. You could have kept it at 100%. You could do at 120, 20%. It doesn't matter. Okay. 
All right, so this is the exciting part. So you're going to have your headphones on. You need to have the microphone down. Maybe you can gently curl it towards your mouth. It doesn't have to be right on your mouth, just towards your mouth. So what you're going to do is you're going to click uh, Start Recording. It will give you a countdown. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go through and fill out your uh, tree. You're going to talk your way through the tree. You're going to use vocabulary like composite and prime number. You're going to show us which uh, factor pair that you're going to be doing. Now you can do all of this without a pen tablet because these um, boxes, they're all ready for you to type in. So you're just going to explain your way through your factor tree. So I'll give you an example. Okay. So I'm going to press record. And it's going to give me a countdown. Okay, so I'm, I would like to show you my factor tree for the number 300. So the 300 can be broken down into two composite factors. The first factor is 12, and then the next factor is 25. Both of these are composite numbers, and therefore they are inside two rectangles. Now if we look at this branch, 12 can be broken down further into a factor of 3 and a factor of 4. 3 is a prime number, which is what we want, and therefore it is in the circle. 4 is a composite number, which I will deal with in the next step. 25 can be broken down into two prime numbers, 5 and 5. My last step is to break down the number 4, and that can be broken down into the factors 2 and 2. Okay, so there is my factor tree. So what I want to do next is I want to create a text box. And then I want to create, let's see if I can type in my prime factorization statement. Okay, so prime, let me change fonts here. Prime factorization statements. So we have 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 equals 300. Okay? Now just use multiple uh, the x signs for multiplication. Okay, so I'm going to bold that. And there we go. So once you finish, you can click Done. Okay. You can listen to it. You can watch it by pressing this blue, uh, sorry, this green triangle. Okay. Now, if you don't like it, you can click done with this recording and then reset everything by clicking start recording. Okay. So we're almost done. So what's the last step? Okay. We did number six, record your voice narration as you fill in your factor tree. Make sure you use appropriate vocabulary. Sound like an expert. So to hand in the video, okay, we're going to go to four students in Ueda, Factor Trees video, find your class, and then I want you to retype the file name as your first name, last name. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so you're going to click this button here, publish to video file. You're going to keep all of this the same, and then you're going to click save video. So here is where you direct it on where you're going to save it. Okay, so if I could just move this screen over, mm, yeah, let's see. And then you could just see it over here, okay? Four students in Ueda Factor Trees video, your class, and then type in your first name, last name. And let Mr. Ueda know when you've handed it in and he can verify whether he's got it. Okay, so exciting assignment. Looking forward to hearing and watching your videos. Thanks for watching. Bye, good luck.